Oh, you're such a pain in the ass. Such a pain. It's not live anymore. Oh my god. Respond. Respond to my touch. What does that do? What does that do? It's it mutes it, but if you press it again it doesn't unmute. You gotta put the volume up to unmute. So it's just a mute only button and it doesn't unmute. It's the most annoying thing I could ever fathom. Why does that exist? Why? I have no idea. Click, do something, respond. It's really not that hard. You shouldn't make it, you shouldn't make it so inconsistent throughout all generations of computer. I hate this. I just want to fucking talk about my day. I want to, I want to write, remember it so it doesn't get deleted out of my head and you don't work and you're a piece of shit. All I want you to do is to display my screen. It's not that hard. Oh my God. It's so annoying. Come on. Have you stopped? Are you still going? How do I know? Uh. Oh, what did I do at Muay Thai today? Alright, so what did I do? Today, I, um, sparred Dylan. Cross between Damo and Ryan. It's literally like if both of them were spliced together. It's pretty good. What did I pull off on him? I got him with my teeps. I was getting him with my right kicks. Um, big dude, Hans. He's not as big as I thought he was. I thought it was way bigger. Did uh, uh, infection control unit today. I have to figure out the different kinds of disinfection for surgical, like the difference between sterilization and moderate level infection control stuff. There's a slide about it. Stuff because endoscopy scope can't be, can't be done with, uh, hold on. Stuff because endoscopy. Endoscopy scope can't be done with, um, it can't be put through sterilization because it'll melt, she said. So you gotta, you gotta do something different with that. You gotta, it's like, it's a, ten, it's a name for it and I need it for the fucking question, but I, could, I don't know what it's called. Anyway, that's what I did today. I had many moments of enjoyment, actually. I had, I realized that I really like the calm and not having any thoughts after, after training. That's actually an enjoyable feeling for me, but I also really, really love realizations. I love the feeling of like, like so many different parts of your brain go do 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 do, and you unconsciously understand without it just goes through all those channels, and that's what makes a joke funny. Like connects different things. That's why it's so funny when someone harpens back to a joke they made earlier in the night because you're like, huh? As a reference, I get that. It's like, huh? That happened earlier, and that was hilarious. So you're bringing it up again. You're connecting it, so it makes it funny. Weird things like that, you know. Couldn't get my fucking paperwork done at all. I did my thing. Oh yeah, that's right. I. Pursing my lips together, putting my like my te felt like my teeth locked together, my two my front teeth. I don't know if it's ideal, but um, I was it could lock today, and I was going to sleep. I almost went to sleep twice before Muay Thai, and that was really good. I don't know if it's usually um, yeah, all the times try to go to sleep at night, especially in that position, I got uncomfortable. But because I had the mattress up, on this posting the esky and the thing, it's. Working. I don't know, man. This is annoying. It annoys me because I don't even know if I can move. I don't even know if the stream is going to instantly stop. I'm going to have cone. I'm going to have cone. But today was a good day. Oh, yeah, that's the other thought I had. I was like, it almost feels like I, I'm an old man. And I went, I just wish I could go back and do it all again with what I know now. And it's like, I somewhat know it still. But I don't have any conscious recollection of that. Just my understanding. I was thinking about, like, Skullagrim. I was like, he doesn't even know how to eat. He doesn't know calories. With all the stuff in the world, he hasn't figured out how to lose weight and eat properly. And he's like, oh, I'm, I'm biking as hard as I can, and I'm training all the time, and it sucks. He says it sucks. Your training shouldn't suck. 
You should love, it should feel good. I love working out. It feels so good. And when I'm, I'm not working out, I feel shit. I love moving. I love, love, love moving. Can't wait for, for, for uni and shit as well. I'm going to be that dude that runs on breaks. I don't give a fuck what people think of me. I'm going to go and run on the oval to get the brain, get my brain to assimilate and process the information better. My left shoulder felt good. My fucking knuckles, thanks a mile. Every strike felt, felt not that great, but I think it can, I think it'll be fine. I just got to keep using it. Felt kind of mildly uncomfortable. I wouldn't say pain. It was just like, oh, that's, that's crunching on my, on my knuckle that has no bone there. It's like, oh, two little bits that I'm not supposed to, doesn't really fit together anymore. Just getting crunched, but it's all right. Maybe I could just be careful which knuckle I lead with, but that was resulting in me flaring my arms because I was trying to hit with a different knuckle when I jabbed and shit. So now I gotta, yeah, I gotta keep and my left shoulder high. I went to the park, I got my shoulder blades feeling calibrated, and um, I went to the park and I got, I stretched my chest out. Those inclinations for stretching my chest and my shoulder were spot on for months and months and months and months. I needed that. Now I've got it. My hand numbness is gone. I feel like for the first time in my life, glimmers, both arms are at peak strength. And that's the first time I've ever felt that. It's always been one or the other. Now both. I've got both of them. It's just the finger. But it's all right. I think I can... I th- I'm pretty sure I can get it back to normal. At least to the point where I can, I can hit with it again. It might not be... I might never get to the point where I'm throwing it with reckless abandon, but I don't really care. It's fine. I don't want to be that kind of fighter anyway. Oh, yeah, well, listen to a video I got karate today. Sensei Seth was doing a weird block, but I don't know if that will work against Hans. Hansel. I don't know if that will work against him, because he's kicks, fuck. And that's the thing. He said he didn't like, doesn't like working out. And it's just another example of me standing there all cunning with fire in my eyes like if I had... If we were given the same natural gifts, we would not be on even playing fields. I would be too powerful. But it's alright, and I don't even know what's going to happen now. Sometimes I feel like my, my destiny is to not be the one, but the one that that shows the one the way. I need to learn all this, I need to suffer, so the one may, may get where he needs to go. Who knows? What's the other thing? I had a thing I wanted to tell my son today. I was like, yeah, it's inevitable that you'll... You'll have... I think it was another thing that I realised. It's inevitable that you'll have instances where you were right and you'll have to live with everybody telling you you're wrong until it's proven that you're right. And even then, you might not even get vindication. They'll be like, you never said that. And instead of being like... And fuming, I think you got to... I think you gotta let it go somewhat. I don't know. I don't know. Felt really good about this when I came home. I had a knew exactly what I was gonna say. Hello. Felt really good about this when I came but now it's fucked. I'm using my four G. Okay, so I got I gotta sit near the fucking front or something. Because <sighs> for some reason this this fucking phone. Slightest nudge and it stops. I don't know. I don't even know if that's what's doing it. No way for me to check, except for have two things open at the same time and intermittently unmute it so I can hear my own voice. It's the only way to check. Now I'm just fucking complaining. I don't want to think about this. All right, let's think about something. I was listening to the Joe Rogan thing. The Duncan Trussell thing blew my fucking mind. And... I can't remember exactly what he said, but it's fine, because that's part of it. Part of it was, you need to surround yourself with people, and he was like, even those people, like, you forget, and those people, they, they remind you just with their actions and how they are, and it's like, who was that? He said, Steve, he's the Wonder Boy and Michael Chandler, different animals. I'm like, bro, this is like, you just described literally what I would have done if nothing, nothing like, no roadblocks happened. I'm like, I would have done everything they did. And it's so crazy, like, it makes me feel like it's my destiny to walk this path or something. Like, do you want to go like anybody else? Do you want to live like them? It's like, Michael Chandler, you can see fire in his eyes, but you can tell he's like, 
the scars are going to accumulate, you know? And it's like, maybe his brain is not what it once was. And it's like, maybe there's another fate for me. Maybe that the universe understood that I would destroy myself in pursuit of something like that. And my talents were better spent elsewhere. Who knows? But the fact of the matter is I'm in healthcare now and I'm doing other things and I've still got my fire and I've still got my drive and determination. And it scares me sometimes how steadfast that is, man. How, how like, determined I can be. It freaks me out a little bit. That's the other thing. They say weed. Weed is uh, grew alongside humans, evolved alongside. I think that. I feel like my brain is fucked without it. I feel like my brain... Like, even, like, I was doing dumb shit when I was younger. I was like, I don't even know if I can figure out the airport when I'm older. Because I was, like, 14. I was like, I'm confused. I don't know anything. Can't see. I see the things in the distance. My eyes fucked. My neck is fucked. All this shit. And then Joe Rogan was like, you can't really think about anything when you pee. Um, you have to, have to pee. I'm like, huh. Like... This is literally, and the, my teacher was like, when you're in pain, you can't think straight, can't this, can't that. I'm like, yes, that's how I felt when I had scoliosis. Every time I would stand up and not lying down, my, it's like my brain couldn't think. My spine was just like, Kronk! and I was like, oh, all the thoughts are going into that instead. But now I'm fixed. I had some respite, reprieve from that. And I know what it can feel like. And it's just glorious because now I get this. I get this perspective I never would have otherwise got. Kind of like how Blair's got this weird back stretch. And it's like, you look at him, you're like, you use that to stretch your back? And he probably was just reaching over the bed. And he figured out that doing that helps his back. But I don't feel it in my back. And it's like, he goes all his life feeling that tension in his back. that I have no idea what he feels. And it's so interesting. Because now I know how good my back could feel. What if it just stayed like that and... Because everybody in Muay Thai and, and sports and shit, they got deviations, they got problems. But instead of just taping it up, like I probably would have, I, I understand where it comes from now and I understand that my back is out of alignment and I can fix it. It's just so crazy because there's so many athletes, you know, it's like if you just told them to hammer something as hard as they could, they would do it. And if that was all it took to fix themselves, they would. But that's why chronic injuries exist. It's not as simple as just hammering it. But I'm fortunate to have the perspective and you're sending me back into the fucking battle. Even if it's just for a little bit and maybe I get cancer and I die. It's like, I've experienced this now. You can't take that away. You gay. I got that. Thank you. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for it all. And it's like, I forget. And it's like, that's part of life. All of my epiphanies and realizations and all this dumb, all this stuff is like, I forget just like Duncan forget just like joe rogan and that's the crazy thing even joe rogan is fucking loves working out and he says it's a necessary thing for him and i can see that same de de determination in his eyes when he when he talks about that he's a beast just like me and he i know how he feels man but even him he's like oh i do drugs all this shit and then I do sober october and i feel amazing and it's like even a dude like that you got to tell about sober october but that's the thing i like both feelings but the, the relaxed one in small dosages, man. I like the no thoughts thing. It makes me feel calm. I don't know why. I like having no thoughts for some reason. It's funny. The first time I got banged in the head, I was like, I can't think of anything. Is this all it took to fucking silence my head so I could rest? This is all it took. Bangs, a little bit of bonks. I could have trained and had r reprieve. Would have been a double whammy. But no, I didn't realize that. Running uptown girl. And I thought about Billy Joel. And then I thought about Amal. And then I thought about Nay. Because Billy Joel was in The Boys. And I thought about how Huey's girlfriend got destroyed in front of him. And all that stuff. I'll have to see it. I wonder what it'll be like seeing a dead child. I want to be the type of man that can handle that shit. I don't know what that looks like right now. I don't know what that looks like with my coat of skin. I don't know how that will work. Oh man, it's just fuck. Half as long, twice as a bright motherfucker. I would rather turbo overdrive my system, my engine, just to to be able to convey what I want in those mo that moment. Moments like that, I hope I will not be lost for words. I'm gonna overdrive.
I'd rather live and die in overdrive than be like, oh, am I healed yet? In the bed. Is it done? Am I ready to return? And then you die. No. I'd rather live and die overdriving. Attempting a task that was too monumental for me. I don't know. I had a really good idea about what I wanted, uh, what I wanted to say, but it, having broke, broken stream really fucks me up. I'm gonna put TV on. <clears throat> Alright, well, I got dinner as well. <coughs> so, I think the plan for the nights like this, I could do a stream to. To get my mind thinking about the day and stuff I want to do. So, oh yeah, I talked to talked to placements today. They said it was fine. I basically just got to wait for my license to come, and then I could. And then I can uh, get my white card and all that shit. Working with children's is done nice, it's good, and I got a, probably a dodgy ass photo card with that. I got to do my NDIS and I got to do that other online thing. Be good if this computer I let you keep the tabs open. Oh my ass is itchy. Anyway. It'll be so great if this thing you could just set it and forget it and you would know that it's streaming instead of instead of this. It it'll be great. We're experiencing some technical difficulties on screen. Experiencing that expect the stream to stop. Expect it something to happen. We apologize. Right, we're experiencing not oh you're live for three hours and I only recorded ten minutes of it. Even though it said it was fine and there was no deviations from the normal. There was no indicator of such a thing occurring. Very irritating, Twitch. Not very cool. Yeah, my hips felt so fucked. I was trying to do my my skip in step thing and Shania blasted my leg. What'd she do? Shania did she swiped my teep away. And then, I hope she's not mad. I, I'm not trying to kick them in the tits. they got small bodies, okay? I think she's mad. And this other girl, I don't know, I'm going to say this. I don't, I don't even know. I, I, was, I saw, I thought it was her brother. It looked exactly like her. And she's like, that's my boyfriend. I was like, oh, sorry. I think she was trying, thought I was trying to hit on her. Because she's not looking at me. And when we did the, the bow out thing, she didn't, didn't even look at my face. Everyone else looked at my face. I'm not trying to do any weird shit, man. I'm not there for that. I was just curious. I was wondering if your boyfriend got you into Muay Thai. If your brother trained you first. Because my, my sister doesn't want to. None of my fucking girlfriends want to either. But I felt so awkward. I was like, oh shit, that's your boyfriend. Fucking, I was like, is that your brother? <laughs> and he's like, that's my boyfriend. I was like, oh. It's like, I didn't mean to. Baki Hanma, Baki. Baki's so mid. Like, if, like, it's kind of cool. I like the idea of it, but I like, they're like, Yujiro Hanma is cool. And it roll the eyes back into the head. I'm like, bruh, I'm Yujiro Hanma. I've always been. I was him before I even knew of him. I'm like, they're, <laughs> they're like, these people that have the quest to become the strongest creature alive. I'm like, wow, literally me. I used to feel like that. I was like, there's other... I would ask people. I'd be like, don't you feel like you can tear this pylon out with your bare hands at the train station? They're like, what are you saying? But then you come into a barky and you're like, yeah, yeah. I'm going to kick holes in concrete walls and make a giant crater while my imaginary back muscles flex. And now I can't think of any synonyms, but it's fine. I really like doing the work. I don't think I've felt depressed at all, unless I, uh, other than that day I was tired, but it's fine. We'll be fine, we got a good pillow. Oh yeah, sorry, I want a massage too. My back is like, ow, got sciatica again. <laughs> Pathetic weaklings. Pathetic. See, I, like, I, I want to embrace that. I want to embrace that. Is it going to start? Hold on. We're good? 
We good, we good, we good. Alright, cool, cool, cool. I think it's still going. Because every time an alarm would go off, fucking stream would stop. Every single time. Piss me off. Piss me the fuck off. But it's fine. Oh, yeah, that funny... That show about, um... I gotta give him an honorable mention. Captain Fall is really good. Didn't think it would be good. Thought it was dumb. First five seconds, that's the other thing I really like. I understood it without realising it. And I got it immediately. And then I was correct. And I love those feelings. You're like, yep, I, I, I think something's happening here. It goes, doom, 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 doom. You connect the dots. That's it. Connecting the dots. We, we, we'll fucking know. And then humans, I think humans, we understand everything. Because a lot of the values I have is echoes of that in everything I... Lots of people, like, they watch, but it's like you can't grasp that. It's like enlightenment, and you can only hold it for, like, a fraction, only a sliver of it. And once you try to fully comprehend it, your brain slips out of that, and you can't hold it anymore. But I really liked that show. I was like, they're really... They were giving, like, real obscure references. I was like, that should be really funny if I knew who it was. And I was like, they're being really on the nose with all the other jokes, like... I was like, it's not really funny, but it's cause so they can set up more nuanced things. But I don't even know what... What the fucking show... Reagan, the Reagan Ripley one. Hidden Bureau or something. What is it called? Uh, I'm just going to click... Type Reagan Ripley... Oh, come on. There we go. I don't know, I want to play... Just, just like, cross-reference your shows and figure out that it's one, a character in one of your shows, Netflix. Reagan Ripley. What's her name? What's that show called? Oh, God damn it. I don't know what it's called. My shin, though. It feels a bit thicker. Haha. -ha. <laughs> the part where it was, was squishy is now hard. Aha, that means it's recovered. That means it's stronger. Yeah, it's weird. I feel like I'm really got some mad shit going on in my head because I was skipping and I was like, I could do this forever. The blood going to the area heals me. I'm unstoppable. I'm healing the, healing at the very instant I create the injuries. I'm adapting as we speak, as every breath. Yeah. See, that, that that's how I am without weed. When I am with weed, it's like I can actually understand normal things and I don't make my dumb mistakes like I would have not understood the airport. First time I ever did it, I was like, oh, like, I can sort of see things better. I was like, oh, it's, it's better like that, you know? I can interpret a form better than I could sober. And I was like, what's going on here? And then when I go off it, I have these crazy thoughts. I'm just like... I, I'm, I'm spirit, every single one of you. I, I could beat every single one of you in single combat. <laughs> Is that normal? I don't know. And the Rob Schneider show. I haven't seen that yet, but I look forward to it. Beef. Beef. Um, what was the other show? D Dirk Gently is pretty good. Uh, beef was pretty good. Yeah, be Beef was good, especially the ending. Ali Wong pissed me the fuck off, though. You had to have a scene where you cheated on your husband with a younger man, didn't you? Had Just had to. Every single one of your comedy specials talks about that. One of the only first jokes I heard about her, she was talking about how she fucked a homeless man and then drove him home and then he ran off into the into the bushes with the homeless people and she did it again. I don't even know if it's real or not, but I, I think she wants me to think it is. And that's the sort of person she is. She's like, I did that and I, you can't judge me because I'm comfortable with my own skin. And it's like, yes, I can. I can totally judge you for that. I'm judging you more for the fact that you got that high horse demeanor when you say something like that. And that's the other thing. It's like, you can't verbalize it, but a lot of people, they connect the dots and they're like, I don't like that person. You just ascertain things without realizing. It's so cool. That's something I noticed about me in the veil between sleep, life and death. Um, I have these crazy thoughts. I'll be thinking about shit in the day and I was like, oh yeah, this, 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 this. Do this, and then you you're just connecting it. You like it makes so much sense, and then you try to do it in the daytime. You're like, what the fuck? That's really hard to hold all those things in your head at the same time. And it's like that's how your brain your brain literally is figuring it out for you while you're sleeping. Really hard to hold. And then you have motherfuckers like like white man who hates black people, talking shit, thinking he's the best thing on earth, even though he's done meth. 
and all sorts of things and, and deserves to probably have some something severe severe happen to him by now. You've got no idea what it's like. You've got no clue. And the instant you do, you realise how pathetic and inferior you really were all along. But that's okay. I don't care about that. I just... I get in my head sometimes. I think about how... You used to be fighting people. Is it still working? Hello? I think about how... I don't know. used to be fighting people. I like to think about... I don't know. I used, I used to think about all the time, like... How I would plunge my fist into people. It's interesting. But we're all like the same person. Every dude is like the same. Mum's new boyfriend. He was like, yeah, I have a bunch of... I told him he was doing a Pantina speed run. And he was like... Yeah, there's this cup of work on my desk. And I, I put <laughs> tea bags in it. And I cackled. And I could see he's trying to backtrack. But he, if he lived in this house and he was just literally like a, an, an unbiased deity just floating above everybody else he would see like i have a lot of logic in what i say just women in this house they're like i don't want to admit i don't want to admit i'm wrong i never thought that i never would say that before but i'm saying it now because literally i've seen it happen many different people men coming over and we implement their things which is literally a thing that i did from the past that you argued with me it's like it's like a i don't know a boat terminology there's like a sailboat it was like the the mast point pivot, the, the the rigging, the the main sails. It was a main sail. Crux, you know, it was like the fucking <laughs> bit where everything turns and it's and it's like oh, Maddie's washing with this thing that wastes hundreds of milliliters of detergent. Oh, it leaks out. So every time we fill the whole handle, it just leaks after every use, and nobody cares. But when I would squirt stuff, squirt a tiny bit into a bowl and put water in it, that was disgusting. Or when I'd squirt detergent onto the sponge and wash, that was that was wasteful and I needed to fill the whole sink up with and it squirt a tiny bit of detergent in. Detergent costs fucking nothing. My family is bullshit. That's the other thing. The enjoyment. Let's have the thing. Detergent? Yeah, enjoyment. It's like, nah, we're going to save like three cents over like literally the enjoyment of half the tasks I do in my day. It's like, oh no, but let's, let's have a disgusting bin that pisses you off every time you use it instead of buying extra $15 for one that you're going to have for years that has a, a step on it. Oh my god. Fuck, fucking imbeciles. I'm going to have a cone. <coughs> I have had cones today. Got a friendly phlebotomist. They're being chill. The lady fucked up. <coughs> She's like, oh no, is this what happens? <coughs> They're like, she hasn't come back to work in a year. It's so refreshing. People being people. People make mistakes. Hate those cunts. <laughs> you know what I want to do? I'd be evil. I'd be like, ha 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 from the shadows. Give every big-headed person on healthcare, give them memory loss. Make them just stop sleeping for no reason and make their heart like Chinese water torture. And do that for five years. Actually, go back in time to when they were still growing and everything was still forming. And then you do that to them and see if they still got such a big head when they come out the other side. But that's the thing, I can't be jaded because I got a unique experience. I'm blessed to have this. But nobody else has my POV, only me. And instead of being angry at others, I need to... That's the thing, it's like Christianity. It's like you would pray on the cross for the, the ones hurting you because you, they don't understand what they're really doing. And that's kind of how I feel. It's like you don't understand like how different it is. You don't understand how your strength can be taken away in an instant, how it's not even fucking yours until it gets taken away. And it's like you did that to me and then you sent me back in. Might have been all my begging and pleading, but... Even for now, I feel like it's just a blessing. Every day I live on from now, it's like it's almost like I got sent back in time. Like, I was 80, and it's like, 
send me back with the feelings of neural of the neural connections that I learned, but not the connections themselves. So it's like I have this feeling. It's like I should do this. This is how I should be. That's the other thing. They fucking put it in the good place. They said that. They're like like a little voice on your shoulder. Other people have thought about this. It's not just me. And the fact that we're in a modern age and we can communicate it to people. It's like, fuck. It's crazy. The other thing I thought about, though, was how it's weird that, like... It was like an understanding. Everybody likes to fuck. Everybody, even the girls, the prudish, they enjoy fucking. It feels good to them. They want it to. And and it, when you see them out in public and they're like, oh, I'm, I'm shy looking. It's like, no, they, they want to do that as well. They're just hiding it from you because they think that's how they should act. And that's what the framework they've learned from all the people in their lives. So they do that because they don't know anything else. But it's like now, it's like, why are you talking to me? I, look, I looked at big booty bitches on my phone five times today. It's like, I don't want you. Get out of my space. And it's like, I don't need other people. I looked at my phone. I'm looking at my phone right now. It's just so weird. It's a shift. And it's the other thing. I was talking to talk about this the other day. It t- talks being nice now, which is good because it took him, took him this many years. Why, why couldn't it happen earlier? You know, it's dumb. That looks like it's broken. The streaming snake is broken. It's fine. I'll fix it later. But, um... Oh, it's Job. Hi, Job. Yeah, he was like, you, had, you used to have so long to get used to technology. I'm like, yeah, it's like a quick turnover. Nobody's going to fucking understand how anything works. And then the, you're going to get controlled. I'm like, oh, that's just literally what they... Because uh, I was thinking, how how you expect me to know? I'm like, how am I supposed to know what this term is in this stupid paperwork that you're forcing me to need? It's like, I don't know what this means. How am I supposed to know? And I was like, oh, all of modern history, like gatekeeping education... And literally people, like, eating potatoes and, and don't know anything. I'm like, oh. And then you controlled all the wealth because you, you're the only ones that knew how to read. And it's like, fuck, that's just going to happen again. But with technology, everyone's going to become illiterate. But the but downfall of that is uh, there's not going to be many people who actually know how to run it. So there's probably going to come a time where a lot of the people who know how to run it die. And it'll be like, it'll be like tech savant dies and now nobody knows how to run Twitter. And then everyone will be scrambling and everyone will be like Gen Z, but times a million. That's the other thing. There was a, I was laughing with this phlebotomist today. There was this kid and he was screaming at the top of his lungs. He looked like he had autism. When he came out, he was just like looking around all frantically. I'm like, why? And then his grandmother, mum or whatever this woman was to him, kept telling him he did such a good job. I'm like, no, he screamed. He squealed at the top of his lungs. Don't encourage that. You're allowed to be upset when you go to the doctor, but he fucking squealed loud. I could hear him through my headphones. I recorded a video. Whenever I send videos to people, they're like, I can't hear what, what you're saying, Jordan. It's, you got music playing. But I heard it this time. Everyone could hear. It was piercing. Yeah, encourage him so he does that, does that shit again. I, I was like, should I shoot him an angry look and go, have some manners, kid? Or like... Or something like that. Because I was like, that would literally scare him into never doing that again. I was like, maybe I was like, maybe that's what all those grumpy people like in the movies or whatever. Or your personal life. Because I feel like somebody did that to me at some point. I'm like, maybe they just like thought it was hilarious. They're like, what if I just scare this kid so he always remembers? Because that's, that's what I would do. <laughs> like if his mum wasn't there and like I didn't have to wait for how long. I would have like said something to him. Because he would have just been like... <gasps> in the car and then he would have remembered that shit he would have had a sinking feeling and now he's gonna piss everybody off because as a child he was affirmed for is that rob bryden in ash and evil and dead it looks like him kind of oh man but yeah now he's gonna go ah he's gonna just like go why do i scream at the top of my lungs when i get angry and it's like because you're you have so much neural framework and and pathways that have you getting affirmed for that so you think i'll get my way and this is a a a overall like like people accept this people say this is okay for me to do because every time i've done it i've got yeah good boy good boy you did such a good job but he just throws a fucking tantrum and it's like no wonder no wonder people are fucked up so dumb and I'm fucking I'm a bit scared of what the future's gonna be like 
that's the other thing. Tell my son, get good at using technology and get good at adapting. And I'll be like, and have in your mind that there's so much advice that I probably could be telling you. There's a string of words that I could say to you right now that would prepare you for the coming things, but I don't know what they are and you're not going to get them. Like some of them, I could be like, there's going to be new technology called to the la la la. And we don't know what that word is yet, but maybe I could say that to him. It would help him immensely, you know, like by, by, um, by being stock, by, by it in 2007 before the boom, you know, um, it could be like that for the future, but he's not going to know. So I'll say, keep in mind that there's shit that I could probably tell you now that in hindsight will be completely obvious that neither of us will know. Try to figure out that shit on your own instead of fucking what I was taught, which was you'll understand when you're older. No, bitch, you don't understand anything. All I know is you're a crap, crap father and I would have done 10 times a better job. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That's the other thing. I, I would, I feel like I could surpass him all the time. I was like, yeah, I, I, I beat you. I could beat the fuck out of you. It's interesting. I feel like a lot of people have that though. It's funny, I need him in the ribs, and I broke his ribs. <laughs> That's hilarious. He jumped on my knee, it's his fault. All I did was put my knee up. I probably did crack his rib as well, because he would have never, like, jumped on his ribs that way. Yes, yes, King and Ashura, another season's coming. When? It's been three years since I saw that. I was still with my other girlfriend when I watched that shit. It's not even out, and you're advertising to me. Yeah, but anyway... I haven't eaten dinner. I should probably go do that. Talk, see, Top bought me food. And it seemed nice. And it's like, he was trying to, like, bond with me. And I'm like, oh, yeah, couldn't you have done that when you had more brain? But maybe you didn't want to when you had more brain. So that's the other thing. It's like, you can't, you can't forget that. Like, earlier, I was, like, angry at him with mum. And I was like, I tried all these things. And it's like, I got to remember, like, he's, he's... Oh, fuck you. He's resolute in in his decision making. It's like he he continues to do certain things and it's like it's not just something he's doing now. He's always done that. He's I've never known him to be any different. So why should I, you know, oh, it's just because he's this. No, he was always that. So judge him like that. But he's trying to be nice now. I don't know. But I, I'm, all, I'm going to be the bigger person in every situation. And that TED Talk woman, she was really fucking good. I need to figure out who, who that was so I can look at her books and shit. Because Martin said those books. Oh, fuck. And I think I pissed everyone off as well. But that's alright, I'll be better tomorrow. <clears throat> Don't want to piss off Martin and everybody nice. They're nice. Um, yeah, he was like, she makes self-help books. And that was a... Yeah, she said... Go into every conversation thinking that they're an expert in something. And she said, I've never been disappointed. I'm like, literally, literally, it's true. You just fucking let them waffle on. They'll, they'll like have expertise in something. And it will teach you something, even if it's not about the subject they're talking about. That's the other thing. Duncan Trussell was talking about that today. Joe Rogan was like, life story takes a long time and they information dump. And that's what I was circling back to about the... Because the, um, the online stuff, like, don't talk to me. It's like, wow, if that's the only exposure they got to people before, like, we all craved for human connection and didn't get it any other way, like, from a computer, they would be so... Everybody would be fucking dumping all of that crap on you, and they never would have evolved past level two to the point where we're at now. It's like... Like, I learn more from YouTube comments and fucking things that I've seen than, than my life, you know? And it's from other people who have done that and they figured it out and they've just told me. And I've got it enough times that I understand now and I'm going to put it in my own life. And it's like, we never would have got to that point. And couple that with yearning and craving and being addicted, basically. You require it for, for human contact. Because now we don't have that, really. You can get it anytime you want. Overstimulated with the screen people. And people are changed now. We're not social creatures anymore in the same respect. Some kids never developed like that. You know, they're just screen kids. So it's a different race of people. So imagine before, it's like, like the, the capacity and the possibility for evolution in society, like social connection, deeper connection, meaningful connection, instead of being in your old life and you get glimmers of the, the, the epiphanies and then you lose it and then you go back to church with your family and spew nonsense and just talk about nothing. And then, oh yeah, how's your kids? Oh yeah, yeah. It's just like bullshit. And they said you can see their face tensing. Because I already know what they want to say to you. 
I'm like, yes, that's totally what it is. Also, my balls feel fucking disgusting. Why does this always happen? Didn't eat? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Feels like I gotta, like, shoot something out of it at high velocity. It's fucking uncomfortable. It pisses me off. Anyway, that's a pretty cool stream. Uh, I'd do it again. It's just, I don't know if it's gonna work. Um, so, yeah. Hanging up now. Catch you later. Gonna eat some food. Oh, did you really, Jeff Chan? Why?